Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. Helpful. How could Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. It's hard to beat breakup music, but maybe I can find something around here to cheer him up. I'm glad Gabe convinced her to stay. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help, though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Gravius looks pretty badass. Go with that. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, I, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. It'd be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. Hey, uh, Haven listeners. That was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. We've got a sweet... Oh... Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Black. Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. The Spring Festival is just around the corner, sponsored by Typhon Mining Company. The mission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Alto is a good name for a bard. I'm sure it'll be different this time. Ability time. Distortion Field sounds fun, but Healing Serenade could really come in handy. Healing Serenade it is. How did I meet Thanor? It was a dark and stormy night. This LARP thing just might work. It's sweet she's planning a whole LARP for Ethan. Still need to check the flower. Shop for Mac.
guess they didn't feel like painting the mine. If I tell them I like him, we'll date, and then we'll break up, and then I'll lose my best friend. I mean, you don't know that. Come on, man. Can't you take a hint? She's not into you. Let it go. Hmm. Maybe I could help them. Wait, hell no. What am I thinking? This is none of my business. If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Acting like what? She seems pretty upset. Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him. So much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad he had you. Thank you, Alex. Really. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. I think she just wants me to end up happy. That's really sweet. She's the most selfless person I know. She's lucky to have you. Thanks. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he's telling the truth about the call? That Gabe never made it? No, I, I, it's not that, I, sorry. I'm really not ready to talk about it. Okay. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. I don't want to push Riley, but I need to know more about Mac. How do I get her to open up? I know what this means. Somewhere, there's a dog I need to pet. Simple, but effective. What could be back there? Damn. Maybe there's something around here I can use to get it open. broken into places for less.
ye. And I cannot stress this enough. Pa. Somehow, even after everything, I never had to live on the street. I hope this person's all right. that guy's sister. I feel so bad for her. Getting sick of people feeling bad for me. Still haven't found Mac. Jed suggested I check the flower shop. your progress in Moondrop Ranch? Did you buy your chicken? Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... I'm okay, I guess. Taking it one moment at a time. It's the best way to be. Is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Now, what was I? Hmm. She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. to figure out why she's afraid. All my memories, All my memories are, fading. are fading. I feel, I feel broken. broken. The doctor said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. If they know they about know my about condition, my condition. They'll, make they'll make me close this place.
Thank you, dear. We'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. If Riley, if Riley finds, finds out, out, she can't, she can't find, out. find out. Holy shit. just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Forget what you were working on? <laughs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, I don't want to keep you. <laughs> hey. I... I want to help. first. Did you trim these flowers today? I don't remember. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in. And then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. You don't have to do this. I'll be all right on my own. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Did you trim these flowers today? I don't remember. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called 
to tell me about a new order. Oh, goodness. What was the order for? Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. Should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I knew mean, you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, Alex, you're a godsend. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God, she doesn't remember. You know Jed. Probably doesn't know the difference between a lily and a tulip. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sell him short. He's more clever than he seems. Thanks again for your help. Don't be a stranger. I won't. Promise. She was finally feeling better. I didn't want to ruin that. What do you want? You want to make fun of me too, like those other jock assholes? What? No. I, you made a sick killer robot and won a fucking contest. That's... First of all, we got third place. And Anyway, he's not a robot. Technically, he's... Oh, God, way to take the bait, Rai. <laughs> Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? Only if you stop. Start dust and daylight. Time to get the truth. I'm so fucked. Can't hide from me forever, Mac. Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. What? Costing me my girlfriend wasn't enough for you? Now you're gonna accuse me of killing Gabe too? I get it. He died on your shift, and you're freaked. 
But you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. Maybe if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Everyone's out to get me. Alex, Ryan, even Riley. Fuck! Even Riley? Did something happen with her? to imagine Gabe would be amused to know he made it in the newspaper. If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Do you want to talk about Mac? Yeah, I get it. It's just, if he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him no, and that we were done. And now, I'm scared he did something horrible. Riley, thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. We'll talk soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. Truth from Mac now. Sightsee later. One doctor had me try meditation. I always just fell asleep. Tragically, 
Now isn't the time to check out the rest of Haven. Oh, you heard about the accident. Was it on the news? No, no one's been fired. Yet. I wonder how many fish Ducky's caught in this thing. Do I even want to stay here without Gabe? In this state I've never been to before. This town I've been in for less than a week. Not that I know where else I'd even go. Back to the nothing waiting for me in Portland. Fuck. I have no idea what comes next. But I'm not leaving here without answers about Gabe. At least I know that. I wonder if I am dreaming. Everything feels so strange now. Under this old town sky. I wonder if there's still meaning. In all the things I'm feeling. The park looks fun to explore. I haven't been a bartender long, but I'm pretty sure these are supposed to stay in the bar. You're writing a novel? What if I die tomorrow? And just like that guy, what have I done with my life? I don't have any easy answers for that. Hey, this is great. I feel like there's a lesson here about love leaving a mark on the world, but I'm not in the fucking mood. Uh, this is awful. He was so young. He must be reading about Gabe. This is cool. In a wicker man sort of way. Too bad I can't just run away from all this. I don't think this whole town is a pagan cult, but I can't rule it out either. I used to babysit Ethan when he was little. This whole thing is so horrible. Did you see literally nothing I can do for Ethan? I feel so useless. I've been there. At least back then, the only people dying in mining accidents were miners. I always figured mining was dangerous, but damn. Sorry about today. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. What Riley told me might do it. But I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Okay, let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Oh God, it's not. 
I didn't do anything. <gasps> Fuck off! <gasps> Leave me alone! deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. It should have been you instead. Alex? No, what the hell? There are people out there. No, I told you to call it off. I saw the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Gabe and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer? My neighbors all hate me? I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down. But does he deserve it? <sighs> All right, Mac. Come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? <sighs> Thanks. I actually feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, well... You learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs>
What are you gonna do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm gonna get to the truth. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter! I keep- Coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. Ryan. I owe you my life. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. You were brave this morning. You're brave now. I've never been as brave as you. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Gabe loved you, Ryan. He would forgive you. You know that. <laughs> You're not alone.
<laughs> whoa, whoa, hold on. <laughs> There's a guy in a gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no, he chases a guy in a banana suit. <laughs> that guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something you should know about me. And it's going to be easier to show you than to explain it. This is going to seem sort of weird at first. Then really weird. Do you trust me? Okay, think of something sad, like breaks your heart sad. Really focus until you feel it. Gabe's laugh. We never made anyone laugh like him. You'll, you said you'll never hear it again. <laughs> never a dull moment. <laughs> the kinds of stuff we got up to. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? <laughs> <laughs> Must be a good memory. I wonder if I can piece it together. <laughs> Gabe, a goose. I see it. It'll move. <laughs> It's not moving. It'll move. <laughs> Gabe! <laughs> oh, that's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. 
Killing a Canadian <laughs> goose is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. <laughs> property of the crown. The, the crown of... Property of the crown, <laughs> Gabe. What do we do? How deep you think? <laughs> Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. The Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you going to let me dig? <laughs> I wasn't going to stop you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> <laughs> How? So, I guess I have this power. I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I, I feel what they feel. As if I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But... That, that was pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe did. But now I guess just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call, and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to tow the line. Okay, but... why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So, you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. You're welcome, I guess. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you.
This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. Miss all the ways you made me smile.